Well, hello guys and happy December and happy Vlogmas. Okay, so looking at me, you're probably like, well, Lindsay, haven't seen you with this hair color yet, which is weird because I've had this hair for almost like, like a week and a half now, almost two weeks, and um, I just haven't vlogged with it yet. I also, yes, am tatted up now. <laughs> I didn't think this was gonna how I was gonna start off this vlog because I have so much um, to like update you guys on okay, since I haven't vlogged in a few weeks. We'll just get that out of the way Yeah, I dyed my hair purple like like two weeks ago Um, I knew I was gonna do it for a little while before I wanted to like switch things up It's actually fading really really fast. I like the color that it is right now Basically when I dyed it, it was already so much more intense than this like if you saw my photos on Twitter Um, and I'll insert maybe some photos. It was insane like it was kind of like like I felt like it was like Barney purple. It was so purple and still the roots now are Yeah, you can see are darker than like certain pieces at the ends I guess my ends are like fading faster. Also, if you think I'm talking weird, I think I'm talking weird I'll get to that <laughs> plus to update you guys on but yeah um, I also did get two tattoos and I've shown them on Instagram shown them on snapchat so you guys have probably already seen them if you keep up on that stuff but i have this tattoo that says i believe in the good things coming and it's on my forearm and then i have this tattoo right here that says i am happy and i have actually this tattoo matching with megan who is my sister if you haven't to not know um but she has hers on like the inside of her fingers i think it's actually her left fingers I'm not positive but we have the same font um, and she just has like I am happy like one word on each finger but it's like we got the same tattoo I personally got my tattoos in places where in places that they would be noticeable and seen because that's what I wanted like I didn't want my first tattoos to be like hidden places where like no one would really see it I don't know why I just like I'm really 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 proud and happy of my tattoo ideas. I'm just gonna say really quick, like if you have something negative to say about tattoos, in the nicest way possible, like it is my body, my decisions, my life, and I do not care. Because you have your life and your body and your decisions and those are your decisions to make and mine are my decisions to make, so. Yeah, I just wanna get that out of the way, just like no negativity in the comments will be tolerated because that's not what this video is about at all this video is about vlogmas which is starting today i can't believe it's december 1st i want to mention um i feel like i'm talking weird because i have been extremely sick for the past i think this is d like day nine or day ten basically over a week and um the reason i'm talking weird is well because my throat is closed up right now i um i started off getting i had a I still have it. <laughs> I don't know why I said had. A canker sore on my tongue. It's going away. It's on the side of my tongue. It was so, so, so huge last week and painful that basically for the past week, I haven't been able to taste food, to eat food without being in extreme pain, to talk without being in extreme pain. Like I haven't hung out with anyone. Only things I've done in the last week um, is go to Thanksgiving dinner, which was honestly really hard because like it was really hard to eat food and to talk <laughs> But I went to Thanksgiving dinner um, with like my uncle and a group of people here because I didn't go home I did FaceTime my family though and my grandma like cried when she saw my purple hair <laughs> um, But yeah, and then I just went to a concert on Saturday night because I had had tickets for that for a while And I wasn't gonna like miss it um, and that was actually really fun. I'm glad I I'm glad I ended up going to that But other than that I have not been doing absolutely anything I haven't been filming videos or filming vlogs because honestly, it's it's painful to talk <laughs> Um, but I, I was gonna do vlogmas and my sickness is going away because well that was like my canker sore thing Which is still present and then I started getting Um like a sore throat and I thought whatever I'm just getting cold. I'm just getting a sore throat. It developed into my tonsils literally yesterday and the day before they're i think going down a little bit now so so gigantic that it was like it was disgusting like i would look down my throat and be like i think i need to get this checked out so i went to the doctor <laughs> yesterday i have some sort of a bacterial infection with my throat and my tonsils i thought i had strep but i don't have strep but i have something anyway i got an antibiotic that i started taking yesterday so she said that's gonna help me in like two days so tomorrow i should be feeling a lot better i'm feeling a decent amount better today which is why i'm vlogging but um i'm not gonna 
honestly like really do anything today because she she told me today I need to rest I told her I was like I need I need to be better just because I, I start school again like tomorrow I have school on Tuesday and Wednesday and she's like school like you can't go to school like this and I was like what and she's like yeah like I'm gonna write you a doctor's note like you are very contagious like you cannot I don't want you going to school tomorrow really 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 long intro welcome to vlogmas not sure what I'm gonna be doing today but I just wanted to update you guys um I apologize for not vlogging for the past two weeks but honestly I have literally been doing nothing for the past 10 days besides being sick and it's like it's actually so so just like uh, I feel so lazy because I just like haven't been able to like go out and do things because I get so like tired and cold and fevery and blah. We are on our way to recovery. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited that Vlogmas is here. I don't have any Christmas decor up yet because I haven't gone and gotten it yet. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do that this week. <laughs> do some work on these dishes that I haven't touched in 10 days. Woo! Bye bye November. Hello December. Ah. That looks so much better. So much better. <laughs> Listening to some Tame Impala now. I was listening to Christmas music for a really long time. Um, I'm finishing up some ice cream. I didn't realize how freaking great Hagen Dazs coffee ice cream is. This is like the only thing that I can eat. Uh, that's not like really like a, a challenge. Ice cream. I've been cleaning my apartment. It doesn't seem like I've made that much progress, but actually, it looks pretty clean back there. Um, I've been like dusting things and I don't know, I just felt like I needed to clean. Cleaning the floors, cleaning surfaces of things. I need to make my bed, so I'm gonna do that. And then, this is just giving me so much like mental clarity because my place has been a freaking disaster. Well, a disaster in like my eyes. Not that much of a disaster, just like kind of dirty for the past, um, you know, like ever since I've been sick and I just haven't been touching anything. So I finally like did my dishes. Like this is literally so boring, but it's stuff that I needed to do. Today is my last day, I think, of quarantine, not being able to hang out with other people. Okay, so I have been at this for hours now. Made my bed, woo. I also, this floor was just like so, there was just like stuff all over the floor, all over my nightstands and stuff. So glad that's looking better. And then I just kind of cleaned a little bit around here. Blah, blah, blah. Kind of looks, I didn't really show you in it when it wasn't clean, so. <laughs> but yeah. Exciting this. Um, I'm going to, I can't believe I'm wearing the same thing that I've been wearing. Like, I didn't sleep in this, I don't think. Or maybe I did. I think I did sleep in this. I'm just gonna chill and do some homework. I need to send an assignment for my class tonight. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Woo! Hello guys, so I've transferred myself to uh, the couch. Ow, my tongue is in a lot of pain right now. For from my room, I need to put my numbing stuff on my sore. Oh my God, ow. My, uh, my assignment, which just involves like some online researching and um, we're basically making like a Twitter page or a Pinterest page for our company. Um, or like brand thingy that we're doing our final project on in one of my classes So I'm working on my Twitter for that, but I got distracted because I got on Twitter <laughs> for the thing and I Saw that um, well two lineups came out today like two festival lineups came out today um, Which was really exciting. They're coming out so early. I swear festivals are just making their um their lineups come out so early, but honestly, it's such a good idea because, like, if you think about it, now there's so many festivals. Like, there's a festival every single weekend from beginning of March until 
uh, October. Yeah, at least in the U.S. So, um, I think this is good because if the like sooner you release your lineup, people are gonna get more hype. People are gonna buy a ticket for that festival first, as opposed to like another festival. Um, I've already bought in a ticket for um, this festival that's in Florida in March called Okeechobee. It sounds so funny, especially with the way I'm like, <laughs> I can't talk, but um. It's actually a brand new festival and it's camping and I'm going with Kaylee McKenzie and I'm going with my friend Layla from home and hopefully some other people as well. Um, hopefully some of my friends from home will be able to go too. So excited for that. But anyway, um, this lineup came out that made me like, just like emotional. Like I got so freaking happy. The festival is called Euphoria. I have personally never been. I didn't even, I haven't even heard of this festival until a few weeks ago. It's in Austin, Texas. That's where Austin City Limits was, obviously. <laughs> um, except this is a camping festival. Well, you can camp, you don't have to camp. It's in the beginning of April. It actually doesn't interfere with Coachella, but I don't know if I'm gonna even go to Coachella next this year, so we'll see. But, um, my camera won't like focus on the lineup if I try to zoom in, which is really odd to me. So I'm gonna have to keep it back here where you can kind of, I don't even know if you can read that, but I thought the poster, first of all, was so, 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 so cool. The way they like, cause most lineups, it's just like a large list of names. Um, this isn't that big of a lineup as you can tell, it's not that many names, but I think it's like a freaking awesome lineup. Basically a mix of like electronic acts and also jam bands for the most part. So some of my absolute favorites are on here, like Grizz and Bass Nectar. Um, some really, really, really exciting acts on here, I think are Knock One Medicine for the People, uh, G Jones, freaking Juicy J. I've always wanted to see Juicy J with Megan. I really enjoy Dylan Francis. STS9 is really, really, really nice. Loud Pack would die. Tycho, yes. Wave Racer, yes. J Wolf, yes. Like basically the whole lineup is just like yes for me. A little dicky in the corner. <laughs> I got distracted from my work, but um. I'm not gonna jump on anything right now <laughs> on any purchasing, but I do really, really, really wanna go to this festival. So if somebody will go with me, <laughs> like um, I texted Kaylee about it. I think she might be interested. If Kaylee will go with me or my sister will go, will go with me, I will definitely try and go. I don't know, as I said, if I'm gonna go to Coachella this year, um, but obviously like when the lineup comes out then I'll freaking decide it's just like Coachella is like really 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 expensive and like overrated in my opinion compared to like other festivals I also just really like camping at festivals so much more anyway that hung hat I've been wearing the same thing all day <laughs> I honestly haven't left my apartment today um Megan is actually watching Squirtle right now um to help me out which is really nice because it was really really hard having him here for the past like week when i was really sick because i couldn't take him out as much and um it was just like i felt like i couldn't give him like enough attention so i was just resting a lot but um i feel really crappy right now <laughs> it feels like my throat is like like really scratchy but also like closed up Oh, this is really gross, but my saliva is like really, really, really thick. That's disgusting. You didn't need to know that, but it's like horrible. <sighs> I need to just stop talking. Um, I post made frozen yogurt because that's like the only thing, like I said, like really, really, really soft, cold stuff that I can eat. Um, even eating like soft stuff, if it's hot, like mashed potatoes or something like that, it just hurts my throat because it's like hot. I don't even know. Um, and it's really painful to even just like swallow anything, like swallow water, anything like that. <sighs> so hopefully tomorrow will be better. I'm not going to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> my doctor's note is like for the whole week, so I need to email that to my teacher. I finished my assignment that I was working on. By the way, sorry that day one of this is so freaking like boring, me doing nothing, I swear. <laughs> When I get better, the vlogs will be better. Wow, wow. That came so fast. I always get from this place at night frozen yogurt because they give you so much. Like this is larger than a normal Froyo container and it's so freaking good. 
I mean, just look at that. Wow, this man really went overboard a little bit, I would say. Usually, they don't fill it up this much. I guess he thought, you know, maybe this was for two. It's just for me. Um, I got Fruity Pebbles, yogurt chips, sprinkles, and graham cracker crumbles. Absolutely beautiful. And I just got vanilla yogurt. I always just get vanilla yogurt. Maybe sometimes, like, vanilla and chocolate, but always gotta get the vanilla. I just got so, so happy because I found this under my sink that I haven't used in like a year. Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. It is so good. I'm actually almost kind of out of this, I realized. Um, it's hard to get out. I mean, there's still a lot of product I feel like in here. It's just hard to get it out. I feel like it's like really, really, really like refreshing because the mint like, like opens up your nasal passages, but then like the twisted part is like, this amazing like vanilla creamy so good if you have not sniffed this I, pre I bet it looks different now it totally does this is from like two years ago or something but i'm gonna keep this on my nightstand and just rub it on my hands and just like smell the goodness tis the season you know okay the lighting's super bad there's no lights in on in my room just my laptop but i'm going to sleep vlogmas <laughs> is going to improve and my sickness is going to go away and um give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for vlogmas 2015 because i'm really excited for it and i love you guys i appreciate you so 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 much for watching my videos and my vlogs i really really do thank you for tuning in and i hope you will come back for vlogmas day two sorry for my gross voice it's really disgusting me um, I can't help it. I really can't help it. I'm so sorry. Okay. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs>